Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create transparent header in Astro theme. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the transparent header in Astro theme, that is really easy. The first thing that we need to do is to have the Astro theme. So if you don't know, how can we have the Astro theme? So the first thing that we need to go is inside the appearance and click on the themes. And from there, you can simply search for the Astro theme. So I have already installed and activated the Astro theme. But if you haven't installed it, you simply click on add new theme. And here you will simply search for Astro. Okay, so you can see this, it is already installed and activated. Okay, so after this, what we need to do to make the transparent header. All right, the first thing is that I will go inside my website. So this is how my website is looking. And you can see this, we are having the header with the white background. That is not the transparent. So if I just go back here, and if I just go inside the appearance and click on the customize. Okay, so here as you can see this, we are inside the customizer and we'll simply click on the header builder. And in the header builder, you can see this, we have the two options, elements and the design. So in the elements, you can see this, we have the logo, we have the account, we have the book card, primary menu and the secondary menu. And after this, we have the header type. Okay, so in the header type, we have the transparent header. And here you can see this, we have the three different layers. And if I wanted to add any element, I can simply click on this. And from here, I can add the element here. Okay, so if I just try to click on the social here. You will be able to see the social icons in between our header here. So this is how you can add the element in the header. So let's just remove this from here. And now we're going to go inside the transparent header. Alright, so in the transparent header, the first option that you can see is if you wanted to enable this on the complete website. And after this, you can see the option to enable on the specified display. Okay, so right now you can see this. We have the desktop, we have the mobile, and we also have the desktop and mobile. And if you wanted to have the different logo for the transparent header, you can also add this from here. Okay, and also the different logo for the retina devices. And in the last, we have the logo width. Okay, so the first thing that I will need to do is to click on the enable on complete website. And this would simply make our header look transparent. Okay. So right now, uh, before this, we were able to see a kind of a white line, uh, a separating line between our hero section and the header. So if I just disable this, you will be able to see a separating color here. That is a kind of a light green color on the hero section. So you can see here, we have this kind of a color, kind of a grayish, the lightest green maybe. So if I just enable this, you won't be able to see the difference in the color. It simply means we have enabled our transparent header. All right. So you can't see any difference of the color in between our header and our hero section, which simply means that now we have the transparent header. So if I wanted to disable this on the 404 search or the archive pages, I would enable this option. So that is by default enable. And if I also wanted to disable this on the blog post, I can enable this option and also for the latest post pages and the pages and the posts and the WooCommerce product pages. Okay. So right now it is only enabled on the desktop version, but I also want to enable this on the desktop as well as on the mobile version. So the first thing is that I will simply change the display here. So I will change the display from the desktop to the mobile version so that I can show you the difference here. Okay. So right now you can see this our transparent header is only enabled on the desktop version and you can see the difference here we can see the difference of the uh, color here between the header on the hero section okay so if i just click on the desktop plus mobile version now you can see that we also have the hero section in our transparent header so how can i check this i would simply go into the design i would have some value in my border size so let's just add the 10 px and i would change the color here so that would be a kind of greenish color. So you can see the difference here. So the part that is above this border is simply the part of our transparent header. And you can see this, we have the hero section elements or the text or the heading inside our transparent header. So it simply means that we are having a transparent header. Okay. So let's just change the value to one and uh, I would go back. I would simply disable this for the mobile version because it is not looking really great. So let's click on the desktop. All right, so I would also change the display to the desktop again. Perfect. All right, so if I wanted to have the different logo for the transparent header, I can add the logo here. So let's just click on select image 
so you can see here we have the different images here or the logos here so i would actually go here with this one that would be only for the transparent header okay so if i just choose this image now you will be able to see the different logo for our transparent header so you can see this and if i disable the transparent header from here now you will be able to see our default logo okay so you can see here this is how this is looking so i would just enable this again and this is how it works and now i would basically change the logo width so i think this is looking fine and i will go inside the design to explore the different options here so the first thing that we have is the bottom border size that we have already used and if i wanted to change the border color i can also change this from here and after this we have the colors and the background so if i wanted to add any background overlay i can simply add this from here you can see this i can add the color from here so i would go here with kind of a greenish color but i would decrease the opacity of it okay so i think this is looking okay and i would also remove the border from it let's just put the value to the zero all right and after this i can change the side title since we don't have that side title on our header so that is why you won't be able to see any difference and after this we have the menu color so in the menu color we have the two options the text color and the background color so let's click on the background color and try to change the value here you can see here we have the different value here for our background of the menu color but i would go here with the default value that is none and after this we have the sub menu color and after this we have the social color so if i add the social icon here let's just add the social icon here now you can see this we have the black color so i would like to change the color of it so that would be so let's just click here and i will go here with the green color so this is how it is looking all right and if i just click on the second color i think this is for the hover color all right so if i just click on it yeah so the second color is when we do the hover on the icon okay but right now i will disable both of these options and also remove the social icon after this we have the search color if we have the search icon we can change the color of it from here and we have the widget color and we have the button color so right now we don't have any button so after this we have the account so in the account we have the icon and the text color and we also have the toggle color and after this we have the html color and in the last we have the woo card icon color so if i just try to change the color of this into the black you will be able to see the black color on our card icon here okay so this is how we can do this here and right now i would simply E, remove the background overlay all right so i think this is looking fine all right so this is how our transparent header is looking so i think i need to publish this and now all right so this is how our header used to look so you can see the difference between this white color and kind of grayish color so if i just rephrase this you won't be able to see any difference of the color here which simply means that we have the transparent header all right but if you wanted to have the icon like on the header side on the header section maybe a small chunk of the image on the header section to get the real use of our transparent header so i'll simply click on the edit with elementor all right so here what i will do i will basically try to change the margin value of our image just to get the idea all right so here i would like to add maybe 200 margin at the top that will be the minus value so if i just update this and if i just click on the preview changes now you'll be able to see that our image is basically on our header side so that is how we can have this use case of our transparent header so it definitely depends on how you want to make it look all right so this is how we can create transparent header in the astro theme so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel